Our reliance on the bee can be likened to no other. Their tireless efforts to seek nectar not only feeds their own population, but also pollinates our crops, in turn providing the needed fertilization to grow over 70% of the food we eat today. Nature thrives on an environment where everything serves a purpose, and this creates our circular ecology. If you look closely, every insect has its own superpower. In the case of the leaf beetle, it has an astonishing ability to break down pectin, the chemical composition which binds the cell walls of leaves together. And by doing so, these beetles can utilize the plant cytoplasm as a source of nutrients for growth. But of course, she's not the only one to appropriate the leaf. Where for one leaf is food, for another it provides a hunting ground to find it. High in the leaves, this larvae dangles its prey over a precipice, munching on a fresh, juicy aphid. Larvae like this need to consume their weight in aphids every single day to give itself the energy to grow. And that's lucky, because aphids can reproduce rapidly, covering leaves and plants at extraordinary rates. This is not a battleground, but the remains of a feast. And here is the latest customer, looking for just one more meal. Stepping across a sea of sugar-rich, sticky excrement, she will spend at least two weeks in this stage, shedding her skin several times in the process. And she's found one. The nourishment from these aphids will allow this larvae to grow. And finally, she'll become a ladybird. But how did these minute aphids get here? Well, this is one of the many wonders of nature. They are here because they are part of a farming process on an industrial scale. But it's not humans who are the farmers, but ants. High above the ground, ants have planted the aphids, coordinated, meticulous, with generations of planning. And why? Because these aphids provide ants with a crop of honeydew. Stroking the aphid with its antennae, the ant encourages the aphid to raise its back and release the honeydew. Here it is, the pearl drop of energy. This symbiotic relationship between ant and aphid is one of nature's great interests. If it rains, ants may transfer the aphids to cover to shelter them, if an aphid gets sick, ants will remove it, protecting the others from the spread of disease. And whilst farmers and gardeners may disagree, the benefits can be seen for others too. Our journey in this episode started with the bee, and it ends with it too, just in a very different role in nature. This here is a perfect example of the importance of our circular ecology. For bee lovers, this of course may be difficult viewing, but whilst bees are vital for sustaining the balance for life as we know it when it comes to pollination of flowers and crops, they, and almost all insects, sit within a food chain that enables nature to prosper. In this example, it is not just the spider that can feed, but a wealth of others too. The bee, well, she goes back to nature in so many ways. However, human impact on the planet is having a devastating consequence on the relationship between organisms and their surroundings. Habitat destruction, the climate crisis, and plastic pollution has been responsible for the extinction of up to 200 species per day. The UN estimates this is a thousand times greater than the natural process. And where one species vanishes, another struggles to eat. We must all take steps to protect nature, to let it thrive. Please take time to learn more today.